Hello, my friends. It is the evening of August 8, 2009, approaching midnight. I'm going to try to be calm here in this short message. I'll be talking about it more tomorrow, live on the radio. We've had the Alex Jones channel with over 30 million views shut down before. I had to go to court, prove that we weren't in copyright violation to get the channel back. Now there's something new and even worse going on. We discovered in the last few weeks that YouTube now allows its community members to flag videos as racist, and they're then taken down. The two videos that I posted had nothing to do with race. Not one word was said about race. In the videos, I talked about how the media is saying that, and this is key, that's why they took them down. The media is saying that it's only Republicans booing Democrats off the stage at these town hall meetings, these congressmen being booed and literally chased from the building because they start you know, leaving as soon as they run into a crowd where you clearly see hundreds of people and 90% of them are booing and chanting and saying no to cap and trade, no to government health care. And I came on and said, hey, we have Republicans being booed. We have Governor Rick Perry, and I put a link to the video, being booed at tea parties and other events. Uh, we, I mean, by the whole crowd, it seems. Uh, Senator Cornyn. I was saying, wait a minute, this isn't a partisan issue. The American people are on the edge of peaceful revolution. Everywhere, every town hall we see, unless they're Ron Paul, who's against globalism, everybody else was being booed off the stage. And I said, they want to make this part, I said, they want to make this partisan. They want to make this partisan so that they can divide and conquer the people. And I said, uh, another issue is they are demonizing anybody that puts up these Barack Obama posters that say socialism on them. And I said, he isn't really a socialist. He gives $30 to the banks, the offshore banks, the private banks, for every $1 he gives the people. That's more like fascism. And I said, so we've made a Obama joker picture, uh, poster that says fascism and one that says Infowars.com. So put these out and let's shatter the left-right paradigm. The name of that video was Obama joker, the establishment will go nuts. And it was on the front page, along with some of my other videos today, on YouTube. Just page after page of honors. Then I went in during a break, up here working late on a Saturday night, and noticed that the videos were gone. And then I went in and looked at the file from YouTube, and they said, you have these community violations anymore, and we're going to shut down your channel. And so I went and checked what those violation codes they gave us meant, and it was for uh, people complaining, saying we were racist. Now, ladies and gentlemen, even if what I was saying was racist, you shouldn't lose your channel because then once they set that precedent, nobody has free speech. It's simple. But it's worse than that. There was nothing about race in there. It was about the American people coming together, and that's what they don't want. The truth is they like racism. They like dividing everybody. I've made a film that's been number one on YouTube and Google for months called The Obama Deception. Nothing about race in there. It's all about how Obama lied about everything he said he'd do. About not hiring lobbyists and getting rid of the Patriot Act and warrantless wiretapping and secret arrest. And now he's saying indefinite detention. I mean, this is an important film. Are they going to shut that down next if people complain about it? Ladies and gentlemen, this is an attack on everyone's free speech in America. And we have hit on something that's really scaring them. But you have to understand, this is part of a larger pattern. I got contacted Friday morning by the lawyer for an African-American gentleman in St. Louis who was a listener. The lawyer sent us the YouTube video and said, we'd like to talk to you about this. And it shows his client peacefully out front an event for government health care. They're not allowing people into the so-called town hall meeting who are against it. And the union thugs come out and scream the N-word at him and punch him in the nose and knock him to the ground and stomp on him and scream the N-word at him because they're Obama supporters. And they said, how, how can a black man be here against Obama when he wasn't even against Obama? But that would be his right as an American, whether he was black or white. I mean, this is the craziness where they're now beating up black people that don't want government-run health care who can actually go and read the bill and find out what happened. And we see Obama in the same town, St. Louis, during the campaign with police on the news saying, we're going to arrest you if you criticize Obama. I mean, this is like the Twilight Zone. You talk about Nazi tactics or Soviet or Maoist tactics. It's, it's happening. So if they're able to shut down the Alex Jones channel, if they're able to shut down our videos, they're going to be able to shut down everybody's videos. 
And so even if you disagree with a lot of our political ideas and views, you should defend our First Amendment. And, you know, YouTube can say, well, you know, it's our right to do this. You know, we're a private company. But they're not saying that. They're saying we had people complain and say you were racist. And they're in the pages bragging. Here's one on one of our other videos. And he says, for anyone who reads this, if you want to do your part today, something patriotic today, report this video to YouTube administration. Alex Jones promotes racism and fear-mongering. And they're now celebrating they're shutting down the videos that are about unity and coming together against the offshore corrupt banks that have been seeking to divide us. So they're openly censoring us, openly lying. Anybody could file fake complaints. According to this, I guess if 100 people wanted to burn down my business, the police would light the torches for them. See, that's what a democracy is. Two wolves and a sheep voting on what's for dinner, as the founder said. We're a republic where the minority as well as the majority is protected. But according to a democracy that Hitler had, he was elected in a democracy, if 51% say kill the other 49%, it happens. And so this is the new democracy. People come in and say, we don't like that. It's racist what Alex is saying. They take your video down. Doesn't matter. And they just keep saying racist, 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 racist. It's a talking point. You can be talking about, hey, I think oil prices are too high. You're a racist. Hey, I don't want cap and trade taxes to double my energy prices. Racist. And I've had them on the street go racist. And it's mainly white yuppies. So again, they're shutting down our videos. They say they're going to shut our channel down. YouTube has told us that they're going to probably shut our channel down. And for those out there that are so ignorant and think they're on some holy crusade against us, don't you understand that we have no future if you get in these gang mobs and come lynch our channel and our videos? I mean, I mean, why don't people go complain about Barack Obama's presidential channel and file fake racism complaints? I'm not saying do that. Besides, even if you do, they're not going to take their channel down. This is all done selectively to people that are doing things the establishment doesn't want. And YouTube uses this plausible deniability that nameless goons out there uh, file fake complaints to take you down. And I'm going to tell YouTube and Google, I know you guys are hooked in with the government and make tens of billions a year and you don't care, but I do want to set a precedent-setting case just to win uh, because you're violating my rights to sue you. And I'm putting you on legal notice now for discrimination because we're going to do test cases now where we try to take down the president's channel by filing complaints. And uh, when you don't take his channel down, we've got you. The more I think about it, that's what needs to be done, just to prove your hypocrisy and the fraud and how you are engaged in false advertising and fraud. You demonize people as racist that say nothing about race. And then you use it to take down their videos and their channels. It's disgusting. And again, the people doing this, the people that are playing into this, the, these mindless hordes of people, do you have any idea how you're destroying your own future? you have any idea what you're ushering in? You're going to find out down the road that Obama works for the same banks that Bush worked for. You're going to find out you got conned. You're going to find out you got ripped off. You're going to find out you got suckered. And you're going to wish to God you'd stood up for the First Amendment when you had a chance. I can't believe that you took our videos down. I mean, these were such good, decent videos. You can find copies of them probably out on the web. We're going to try to upload them to some other channels. Uh, but... We've got to get those censored videos out everywhere. Download them all off the channels. Get our other videos, the other Joker poster videos I did. It's scaring the establishment because they know it's setting the precedent for masses of people to go out there and get involved. But there it is. Alex Jones today, you tomorrow. Uh, this is, I've been slandered. I've been libeled. You know, I'm now a racist because I said, say no to the president's policies and exercise your First Amendment. This is what America's come to, and they're trying to pass the Hate Crimes Act, very close to passing, where they say that if you criticize somebody, even if you don't call for violence, you get arrested. If, if you say something on radio or on the web or on TV or on your blog or in a letter to the editor that makes somebody else do something violent, you're going to go to prison. The Cyberbullying Act says if you hurt someone's feelings, you go to prison. Federal felony. I mean, this is totally un-American. George Bush had free speech zones. Obama is expanding them. I'm against George Bush. I'm against Obama. They work for the same people. Come on. Let's stand up for free speech, not just in the U.S., but worldwide. we got a chance to beat this. God bless you all.